Okay, so uh, boot monitor introduction. Make sure uh, you have set up stack walking if you have not done it yet. You can set it up with the command you see on the screen here. And you need to also have an XPerf folder, preferably on the uh, C drive. Now, uh, using an administrator command prompt, we will use a command xboot mgr minus trace boot minus trace flags. And for the flags, we'll use latency plus this patcher minus stack walk. And here we'll use profile plus CS switch plus ready fret. We'll also use minus no trace flags in file name as well as minus post boot delay. We'll set the post boot delay for 180 seconds. And now we'll use minus result path. And we want our results to be on the C drive and in the XPerf folder. Okay, let's run it. And now we'll be signed it out. And our system will restart. Let me log in once again. Oh. There we go. Let's go to desktop. And we are greeted with the sign. Okay, let's uh, sign in once again. And we are greeted with the sign delaying for boot trace one of one. We can wait for uh, maybe 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, we'll click finish. Okay, so uh, we can see that there is already a file created called boot underscore, underscore one dot ETL. Let it save. Okay, and now let's run the command prompt again. Let's go to xperf folder. And here let's run a command that will convert uh, the results to the XML file. xperf minus i, our file, boot underscore one dot etl minus o summary dot xml minus a boot okay there we go let's uh, open the summary file now dot xml and here in this file let's search for boot done via post boot value. Okay, it is uh, right here. And what is this value? This value is the total time of the start in milliseconds. And there are also 10 seconds added to this time. We can also locate the intervals. Uh, inter 
Vo, maybe. There we go. We can locate the intervals and see the details of each interval. Let's now open the file boot underscore one dot etl in Windows Performance Analyzer. Okay, and let's find the boot phases graph. It should be right here. Right click on it and click add graph to analysis view. Here you can see the summary table of boot phases and you can also review the results here.